Okay, welcome to the first um, Simian Guru guide to S60 5th edition. I'm running the emulator on my uh, laptop, so this is not an actual device. This is just the core um, operating system that's available through the SDK, which is on uh, Forum Nokia. So this is the main screen, and the first thing that I want to show you is um, some of the personal information management system, which is the PIM, the um, contacts, and calendar, and that sort of thing. So from the main screen, you can go to your contacts here, or you can bring up the dial pad by clicking on here. Um, and obviously this is pretty standard. You can type a number, you know, um, and obviously I'm just making up numbers. And from here, you can either call the number directly, you can erase a number, or you can click this middle button to add this to a contact. Very simple, very straightforward. You can either create a new person, or you can update an existing. So I'm going to create a new person, and uh, it's going to ask me what kind of number this is. And as you can see, there's all kinds of options here. Um, so we're going to call this the mobile number. And um, here we're going to get into some of the text entry uh, features, but we're going to type in the first name. And um, let's just call this person John. Um, John Smith, obviously, because that's a popular name. And um, you can add other features here, telephone, email, uh, push to talk, company, job title. And obviously, if you go to the options, you can still add a detail or you can edit the label. Um, it's unclear right now as to whether these will synchronize with your desktop, but I'm guessing they probably will not. Um, and then you can cut and paste and that sort of thing. So um, very simple, click done save new contact, and then it takes you right back to that dialer screen so that you can then call. Um, so this is very convenient. From the options, you can also go ahead and call them via voice or video call. You can also send a message if you would like. Um, you can save it to contacts, which is the same as what the previous button did. Um, and then you can change your call settings and whatnot. So um, very simple. Now if we go directly to the contacts book, um, here are the two that I've got saved already. And um, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. It's very similar to um, S63 edition. That's one thing that you're going to notice with S65 edition is a lot of it's very similar, um, but has little changes here and there. And it's obviously optimized for the bigger screen and for touch. Um, so very simple. You've got the familiar tabs up here. And you can add a new group if you would like. Um, and you can group your contacts that way. So from here. You can call this person directly, you can compose a message, or um, if you click this one, you can add a new contact. So very simple, the most often used um, features are right here, ready to go. Um, so one click, you can create a text mess or a regular message or an audio message. Very, very simple, very easy to use. So that's the contacts. Um, now if we press the menu button here, we can go into the calendar. And in the calendar, this is very similar to the Nokia E71 and E66, which got a, um, an updated calendar view. You have the main view here, and then this is kind of a summary of the day. So um, if we go back, and on the calendar, um, the days that have events on them will have the corner hashed out like this one here. So you can see on the 6th, um, I'd already put in a couple of dates. I've got um, a theater at, the, at 8 o'clock, and these were just made up, or a date at the Olive Garden. So um, this way you can really easily click on the days and um, see what's going on that day. If you double click the day, you get the agenda view, um, which lists them in order of occurrence. And you can, from here, um, you can look at the to-do list for this day. So if you have any to-do items, that's where you can see that. And this button here, all the way to the left, will constantly um, give you a different view. So you can really easily change the views without having to go to options or anything. The middle button is for creating a new meeting. Um, and obviously you can do a uh, subject, the location, start and end time and date, you can set an alarm. Um, and then on the side here is the create a new task or to do note. So if you have something specific that you need to do, you can set a due date for it, a priority and that sort of thing. So um, very convenient and um, again, the options menu is going to look very similar to what you would see in a 63rd edition. You can still use the, op the options menu to change this. So that's the um, 10 functions in the S65th edition.